Okay, so uh, you may have had some trouble with these uh, last day, so we're going to spend the whole topic or lesson covering adding and subtracting integers featuring double signs. So emphasizing the whole double sign thing. Now, to deal with double signs best, you can use the um, number line, the whole change direction thing. But I think most people um, will probably like to just to focus on um, knowing the little tricks or rules. To get rid of the double signs, which is the first thing you should do, is you see what kind of signs you have. If you have the same signs, like two negatives or two positives, they will always become one positive. Two negatives will be a positive, two positives will make a positive, so that's what you get. So if you have a double negative, simplify it, it'll just become a positive. Double positive simplifies to become a positive. If you have different signs, like a minus and a plus, where the only other option would be a plus and a minus, they are different from each other, then if you have a double sign like that, simplify it and make it just into a single negative sign. Okay. Also, people get confused on when or uh, when they're looking at a double sign. Here are three questions. This one, this one, this one. Which of these three, A, B, or C, A, B, or C, do you think show double signs? A, B, or C? Doing the whole door up pause there. I'm asking you the question, blinking my eyes, waiting for you to answer it. Okay, done? All right. So, does this have double signs? You think, well, yeah, there are two signs, but it's not considered a double sign. The two signs are not next to each other, so this is not a double sign. That, that by the way, you're down eight, you're down seven, you're down 15, is the answer. But I wasn't asking for that. I'm just showing off. Okay. Uh, here, you've got 10 plus negative 3. Two signs next to each other. So this is a double sign. You'll have to do this little tricky stuff with that question. What about this? You've got a negative and then a positive with brackets around it. Well, the brackets are optional. You can either have these brackets there or not have the brackets there. I could have put brackets around this 3 back here as well. So it's the same thing as this. This is a double sign. You have a, a minus and a plus. They are different. That is a double sign. So double sign, double sign, not a double sign. I see people making this mistake all the time. They just take this rule and they keep using it for things they're not, they're not supposed to be using it for. So don't do that. Okay. You didn't think I was going to give you this question. I'll make you figure it out. Let's do this. 10 plus negative 3. If you want to use the number line, if you like that method, go right ahead. But let's try to use this little trick here. Here you have two uh, signs, plus and a minus. They are different. And like I said up here, different signs will simplify. We take those two signs and make it into one negative sign. So we take these two different signs, because they are different, and just write over it with a big negative sign or a minus sign, or just so there's no confusion, just erase what's left over, and you got that. Now it's just 10 minus 3, which is 7, done. This question here, we'll do down here. What do you do here? Uh, you've got a double sign right there, the minus and the plus. What do we do with these? What are these going to become? minus and plus. They are not the same. They are different. So because they are different, will it become a positive or a negative? This will become a negative or a minus sign. Same thing. So because they're different, you put a minus sign there. So this becomes negative 6 minus 4. You're down 6. You're down 4 more. You are down 10. 
You can use the number line as well if you want for any of these questions. Okay, now, some more integers fun. What do you have a question like this? What I'd like you to do when you have questions like this is just do one question at a time. There are actually two questions in one here. 4 plus 3 minus 9. Moving left to right, underline the first step, 4 plus 3, which is 7, and bring down the minus, bring down the 9. And now you have 7 minus 9. You have 7, you lose 9. You're up 7, you're down 9. You are down 2. Negative 2 is your answer. Now, what I just did there is the way I'd like you to show your work for long questions like this. Underline the step that you're going to do first. The whole point of that is twofold. It actually helps your brain focus on that one question. Sometimes if you just try to do it in your head, this 9 is just in, the, in, your, in your subconsciousness and it just floats into the, your calculations and, and in, your, in your brain and you get confused. So underline the first thing so your brain can focus on that. Directly underneath put the answer down. And I'm big on directly underneath, directly underneath. Whatever is left over, bring it down. Do the next question and circle your final answer. If you, when you have questions like that. And here's another question like that. Negative 10 plus 3 plus 5. Just go left to right, do this first. Negative 10 plus 3. You're down 10, you're up 3. You are down 7. Bring down the rest, the plus and the 5. Now, you have this, you're down 7, you're up 5, you are down 2. Negative 2 is your answer, you're done now. And, oh, I don't know about that. Okay, here's another one. Negative 7 plus 4 minus 8. So again, underline the first thing you have to do so your brain can focus on that. Negative 7 plus 4. You're down 7 and you're up 4, which means you are down 3. Bring down the minus, bring down the 8. Now we focus on that. This is the last step. You're down 3, then you're down 8. You are down 11. Again, you can use the number line for any of these questions. You start at negative 3, you change direction and go back 8 to get to negative 11. Okay, now this one's a doozy. This is the last question. Oh, there's more. This one's a doozy. Negative 3 minus negative 4 minus negative 12. First thing to do here, get rid of these pesky double signs. Get rid of this double sign and that double sign. You have a minus minus. What do you do with the minus minus? These signs are the same and like I said way up here, when the signs are the same, whether it's two minuses or two positives, it becomes a plus sign. So, you have these two minuses, this will become a plus sign. I'm not going to change color, just going to stick with the black. So let's go like that. That's a plus. Here's a double sign, two minuses are the same. So we turn into a plus. This then becomes, first question, negative 3 plus 4. You're down 3, you're up 4, you're up 1. Bring down the plus, bring down the 12. 12 plus 1 is um 13. Now this last one before we get to the skill testing questions. All this stuff. Double sign. Get rid of the double signs. You have a plus minus. They are different. Different negative. So just turn this into a big negative sign. You have a minus plus. They are different. So this will turn into a big negative sign. Just trim the little plus sign away. 
and there's only a single sign there, so leave it. Okay, left to right, do this first. 8 minus 3, 5. Bring down the minus, bring down the 4, bring down the plus, bring down the 1. Next, do this. 5 minus 4, which is 1. Bring down the plus, bring down the 1. Next, 1 plus 1 is 0. <laughs> it's 2. Okay. Here are your skill testing questions. Only four this time. Have those done. Please show work the exact way that I showed above and underline the first operation and then going underneath, getting rid of double signs along the way. Actually, getting rid of double signs first, like this nasty one over here and this one. Um, and uh, show all steps and circle your final answer. Once I see that all four of these are correct and you've copied out all these notes neatly, then I will let you proceed to the next worksheet. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.